What's up, guys? It's Nick. Hey, um, just day of the Dead Cold Remaster. I haven't played a point and click game since I was a little kid. Um, really was into them. Really would like uh, Police Quest, King's Quest. What else was there? Uh, Leader Sue Larry, all those. So, it was crazy, right? So, when Maniac Mansion came out, it was a huge thing for Nintendo. It's like a holy grail for me to find is a copy of, of that NES cartridge. Because I've never seen it. I've only seen it like, when it came out, and I've never seen it since. Never in a used store or pawn shop or anything. Never seen a copy of it. And I would really love to find one. But I don't want to find it on eBay or any place online. Because I want to find it out in the wild. And that's kind of a collector in me that wants to find things and not just order them online. I think that's cheating. All right, so let's get on with this. We're going to go to a new game. Would you like to enable the developer's commentary? No. Don't miss this amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. No, it's fine. I don't want that. Lucas Arts. Missed that logo. Played so many Lucas Arts games. It's ridiculous. Oh, let's get rid of Lucas Arts completely. In case you didn't notice, this is the sequel to Main Engine, just in case you didn't know that. Hmm, I'm thirsty. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. <laughs> like I could. So we turned into plankton. Take awesome. all the world. It's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard. He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacles mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. <laughs> Catch you later, Green. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go back to the mansion. Oh, and a crazy thing too, um, if you go on YouTube and you can find these, like the whole series of the old Maniac Mansion TV show. Um, never watched those either, but it was a huge thing on like, USA back in the day too. I don't really want to go back and watch those too. So if there's anybody out there watching this, if you ever played this game and you ever played any other LucasArts games, let me know what you've done. And we can talk about those too.
Bye, Cal. Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here, in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? But where is his secret lab? Cycle inventory, cycle in open inventory, cancel, skip, walk, confirm, interact, X. Object highlight, change characters, commentary, move character. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Liar. We are going to take one sign. Anything else? No door, window, chocolate plant. A horticultural horror. Horticultural horror. stuck to the floor. It take the time. <whistles> Grandfather clock. Hmm, there's something funny about that clock. Of course there is, because it's probably you can't go up the stairs, right? Hoagie's got that part of the house. Hoagie's got that part of the house. Let's see. So now we got to open Grandfather Clock. Aha! A secret passage. This is all too easy. How'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world. Had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? But Bernard is stupid enough to do it. Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Oh. Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops. Our only hope now is to yeah, turn whoops. off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! Through the time machine!
This is oh. all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children, the Chronogon! Doc, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. Well, I'll be. Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. Is he? It works! I can't believe it! And they said Imitation Diamond wasn't good enough. Uh-oh. Thanks, Doc. That's awesome. Oh, this crew, how could it go wrong? So amazing. I how cool my crew is! Chief mail order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. Thanks, dork. Jeez. It can't do anything without a new diamond. There's nothing to get. It's empty. Of course it is. Here we go. Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs. Ah, perfect.
It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. It's capable of storing up to one gigavolt with a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. Wow! I've got the plans. Quick, we have to flush them to Hoagie. How did you get over there? My ingenious super battery design, please. You really flushed them? Yes. Down the toilet? No, through time. Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Hello? Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Let's see if what's-his-name catches on. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times. Tentacles are taking over the world. And now the toilet's backing up. Okay, Come over here. It's your old pal, Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred? How'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Time for me to save the world, I guess. So as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the future needs power, too, if she's still alive. Alive? Get me out of here! I like trees and everything, but this one has got to go. I'd rather use a tree. I should plug that into the super battery once I get one made. Ye oldie outhouses. Mmm, kumquats. Nobody ever eaten a kumquat? I don't want to. I've never Totally covered with crud. With crud. It's closed. Fine. Open it. Now what's in it? You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once.
mean whilst. Soon all the power of the heavens will be mine! All mine! If only we had some nasty weather! What is that? Cool, the room clerk's a mummy. with a canary in it, perched above a little lever. Huh. Yo. Hello. What's up, you cold? You got hiccups? Are you petrified of public speaking? What's up, you cold? Cold? I'm freezing. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't part with it. Who'd want a poster of a log? I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold, we'd get some heat in here. Awesome blanket there, dude. Thank you. It was given to me by my dear old colorblind Aunt Hattie. What are you guys doing in here? We're writing a... Uh, writing the... We're drafting a constitution for the United States. Don't say draft. You'll only make me colder. Wimp. Why don't you have some hot coffee? Oh, I can't stand coffee. It makes me irritable and want to bang my head against the walls. Oh, I can relate. Well, please don't do it around here. Well, I gotta go, dude. I have a feeling that was just gonna go nowhere, huh? It's big, it's heavy, it's wood. Slog, slog. It looks like a martini shaker. They don't seem to have gotten too far. Excuse me. Nice, his teeth came out. Yes. Whoa, oh. you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. My name's Hoagie. Like the sandwich? How quaint. Gee, I gotta go now. Sometimes I like to eat it raw. Take it. Mmm, 
salad oil. So one thing, I don't know if you guys ever know this, but take everything when you play these games. Like everything. Bitcha. Yeah, great. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. What's in this door? Open the door. What's in there? Bucket. It's empty. Already open. Fine. What is this? Nothing. Okay. Not raised in a bar. It's empty. It's empty. It's empty. Max Addox, his petard runneth over. A lamentable fate for such a patriotic dude.
George's bed. George sleeps here. Here I am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Aha! Oh, get away from that! It's a good thing I finish them there quickly. Now scram! They just don't make founding fathers like they used to. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? We need a babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. I like these. Too late. You've already rejected those. Stars and stripes, dull, dull, dull. Hey, don't criticize unless you got a better idea. Chateau de Chipo, 1775. I'll take that. Kite plants. I don't quite see how it can fly. Oh boy. Hey, what's that on the plants? It looks like a secret backwards message. Oh, it's just a coffee stain. Yourself. Wow, wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. I gotta go. See you later. It looks like someone's dentures were in here. Hey, I've gotta put them somewhere. I don't think I want this. Spartan. Very Spartan. All 
right, pain. What a pretty pussycat. Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? Very smart. Where am I gonna put it? Very Spartan. like the cat's caught a moose up there. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Hold still, Jed. So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man or the model? I'm the model, should yeah. I take my clothes off now? No. 
No, you most definitely should not. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay. It would have one anyway. Look, don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. What a bunch of jackasses. Alright, let's leave. I don't want to talk to these guys. Nope, go back out. Bye. I got a bucket with water in it. Now I need something. Here I am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. That's not what I'd call a lot of cleaning supplies. Oh, ha! Get away from that! It's a good thing I finished in there quickly. Now scram! They just don't make founding fathers like they used to. No, I've got to get that. I know I do. It wouldn't be on there if I couldn't get to it. Doesn't make any sense. Like, why would that be the only thing in this room? Is the cord. Alright, so we can pull the cord. Use the cord. Here I am, don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. That's not what I'd call a lot of cleaning supplies. Old-fashioned lie in a new, more convenient size. Oh, ha! Get away from that! It's a good thing I finished in there quickly. So now give scram! Soap, so I already have it? They just don't make founding fathers oh, like they used okay. to. How did he know about that? That's the thing. Just looks like a regular hammer to me, but then I'm no scientist. Say, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Oh, well. It looks more like a raincoat than a lab coat. Hey. What is it? You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor, not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. Then again, maybe not. <coughs> Probably not. Do you know Ben Franklin? Franklin? <laughs> I would never associate with that overstuffed goofball. He has the stupidest idea about glasses with one red lens and one blue one. 
What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. There must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. He seems busy. Battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. And some gold. Excellent! I need that for my super battery. like never made any sense. They're still funny. See a Hancock. Excuse uh, me. George. Yes. True about you and the cherry tree? Oh yes, it's quite true. Why, I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. Would you give me a demonstration? I don't see why I should. I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. 
pondering the great truths, eh? Well... I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your I grandmother. I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there... Oh, well, what do you know? There is a cherry tree out there. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. I said come down from there at once! Try to understand. I'm stuck in this... Voila! You're quite a man. Yes, I know. Yay, let's switch to her. Get me out of here! I haven't done anything! Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner, getting dressed up for the human show. Owner? No one owns me! Gosh, no owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. Damn that, Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. Oof, don't do that. She's got a scalpel? That's interesting. Alright. I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. I hate that clown. Hmm, air conditioning, I guess. Conditioning, I guess. Hey, boy, you missed the party. You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night. At the Novelty Good Salesman's Convention. I tell you, we Novelty Good Salesmen know how to have a good time. Is this still in Fred's house? What the hell's going on? Has anyone ever told you you look like Don Pardo? That's strange. My wife says I look like King Charles the First. Oh, want a cigar? Sure, lay one of those Havanan babies on me. What the? Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Well, you were right! Shouldn't smoke, it's a bad habit. That cracks me up. Eh? 
jumpy little sucker. Looks like they all escaped. Disgusting. What a big coffee maker. I think I could lubricate my car with this stuff. Yeah. Actually, I'd call this more of a freak. I'll take that. Take your coffee. Yep, I'm taking both. Now, that's Steve. Taking 15 things that don't belong to you. I got a. Uh, oh. The Duke Memorial Brand Steve Microwave. And. I'm not touching it. These models have a history of leakage. And also, of <laughs> putting a hamster in them, like a maniac mansion, which is probably why they don't let you play with it. Let's go over here. Twenty-five cents every thirty minutes for sale. Cats, four legs, two eyes, head. Do not sit on machines. Who knows what surprises await inside? It's not a funnel. We're going to take it. Yeah, that's right. It's a coin operated clothes dryer. Anything else? It looks pretty broken. It's closed. Open it. There's some correction fluid in it. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. Boy, the Edisons are a spectacularly ugly family. I don't want to carry those people around in my wallet. Sleek design, sturdy construction, attractive housing. All in all, a fine phone. Even 911 won't handle this kind of emergency. Wow, it's from my favorite movie.
I hope no one's watching. I look so goofy on video. On video? Looks like Dr. Fred wearing a powdered wig. Handsome in a way, but I'm glad he eventually accepted his hair loss. It's pretty darn cold. This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of $2 million. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing once in a lifetime opportunity. My grandma gave me one like this for my birthday. I can't pick it up. That guy is lying on it. Up too late? Try a fickle finger's fate. Stick in a dime and you'll have a good time. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. <sighs> I can't even do this right. I can't see it very well from here. That is disappearing ink. Green! Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Pushing old ladies down the stairs? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. Politics? Wanna help me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. See you later. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man!
can be yours today with a special rock bottom introductory price of two million dollars. There's Before save. Call, All right, so we're gonna save it here. Don't miss this amazing fourteen percent complete. All right, guys, it's 7.12. It's time for me to go to sleep. So we will resume this game later. Hope everybody enjoyed it. And let me know if you want me to complete it. It's, it doesn't have much longer. It's probably like three hours, maybe more. Um, as I, you guys know, I'm doing this every morning at around 6 a.m. So if you guys want to check me out, it'd be great. Um, don't forget to check, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that crap. And uh, give me a follow, alright? Tell your friends too, if they like playing old games. Alright, it's been Nick. See ya. Bye. Thousand carat diamond for the piddling sum of two million dollars. That number again, 1-800-STAR-WARS. Call now, tell them Yoda sent you.